Good morning, friends. I'm back. This is December Daily 2022, and today I'm working on days 16 and 17. So this side of the page, I have a plan for kind of, and then this side of the page, I'm using a sketch for. So I ended up um, putting all my pictures in the little pockets and they're already stuck down. So um, this page isn't going to require a whole lot of embellishing. The one thing I want to try to do though is here she did a shaker pocket and I think I'd like to try something like that here. And this looks like maybe wood veneer and I didn't have a doily like that but I grabbed something I had that was very close in my stash. So uh, I am going to probably tackle that page first. So I will be right back. So this side of the page um, was pretty simple and I decided to use a piece of chipboard that's been in my stash forever. That's that red scallopy chipboard you see me using just there. And um, I was running out of pictures and quickly realizing it. Wow, you can really see that bruise on my left hand. Um, there was an incident playing with one of the doggies. And yeah, I bruised my hand pretty good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, back to what I was saying. So I am, because I've used this chipboard and I want to put the number 16 in the upper left hand corner there I realized that um, the 16 won't lay flat so I'm using a little trick that I learned uh, from uh, one of the girls online who makes cards I'm sorry I can't remember her name right now but um, basically you take some of your scrappy cardstock and you fold it and glue it and uh, basically pop up whatever you need so that it's level with um, in this case my chipboard and it's a pretty handy way to use your scraps because um, back from my card making days I know I always had white cardstock so it's also a really kind of neat way to if you are doing cards um, and you don't want to use foam tape it's a really good way to make sure that your cards are recyclable um, if that matters to you at all um, plus, you know, you're using the little pieces of paper that are just cluttering up your desk. So bonuses all the way around. So I was looking for something to put underneath this picture and I grabbed one of the long stickers from my, uh, farmhouse Christmas paper. I'm not sure. Might, might've been the vintage Christmas, um, 12 by 12 cardstock sheet and just kind of threw it there. And I'm just looking to add a couple of little stickers just to finish off the page. And that little label there is, I'm going to do a very tiny bit of journaling. And yeah, this page is pretty much done. So this page is all done. The downside, of course, to using dimension in your December daily is it kind of makes the page a bit warpy, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to turn on my fuse tool and see what I can do with this. So I put a little bit of chunky glitter in there. And I never have a whole lot of success with my fuse tool. I think I'm too impatient, but we're about to see how it goes. In case you're wondering, um, I have just a piece of chipboard underneath my page so that when I do use my fuse tool, it won't hurt my cork mat. I don't know that it would have hurt it anyway, but I decided just to protect it just in case. I dug through my kit and found that little, uh, it's kind of like a foil coated wood veneer um, snowflake. And here I go using my fuse tool and success. So that was good. Um, 
I think one of the things that I've learned is when you are using your fuse tool, it's a good idea to leave it plugged in for about 10 minutes before you actually need it. And you'll know it's ready when you can smell the heat off of it. So right here, I'm just putting in some tiny uh, letter stickers to spell the word day. And that's this side of the page, more or less done as well. Okay, friends, so there's my sketch. And there's my page. The downside of doing shaker pockets like this is um, now that spot is completely out of commission um, for day 18. So I'm going to have to find a workaround for that. I don't yet have a plan, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the album and I will be right back. All right, so days 16 and 17 all done. Stay tuned for how I'm going to tackle this page now that that little shaker pocket is in place. Um, and that'll be day 18 and 19. All right, friends, that's it for me for today. As always, thanks for coming to hang out with me, and I will see you next video. Bye for now.